Lesson 211, division. So it says, read the example of how to use partial quotient division with multiples of the divisor. So you have 237 divided by 11. Think how many 11s there are in 237. You know 20 times 11 is 220. So there are at least 20 11s. Write 20 as your first partial quotient and 220 below the 237. Subtract, 17 is left to divide. Think, how many 11s are in 17? 1. So 1 is the next partial quotient. Write 11 below the 17. Subtract, 6 is left to divide. 6 is less than 11, so we are done dividing. Add the partial quotients up. 20 plus 1 is 21, so it's pointing remainder is 6, quotient is 21. You could have started solving the example problem by taking away 110 from 237. If this was your first step, what would your f first partial quotient have been and why? So, this is one way to do division. We, in class, talked about the long division way, which we have the acronym divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So if we flip back to our other page, I'm going to show you how to do the long division with 237. I'm going to erase our acronym that I wrote nice and big. So we had 237 divided by 11. So first you have to ask yourself, how many times does 11 go into 2? It can't. So then you have to look at how many times does 11 go into 23? I know it goes in twice because 2 times 11 is 22. So then I'm going to write that 22 and I'm going to subtract and I have 1 left over and I bring down the 7. How many times does 11 go into 17? One time, 17 minus 11 is 6. You can't make any groups of 11 with just 6, so you have remainder 6. So here it wants you to first estimate and then solve. So if I'm looking at this, I might do um, 500 divided by 20, and that's going to give you... That's going to give you, so 50 is, so it's twice, then it's going to be 100, it's going to be 25. So 500. Equals 25. So now let's work through. How many times does 15 go into 4? It can't. So now you're looking at 45, or 48. So now let's use our multiples of 15. So 15... 30, 45. So we can't go above 45, so I write the 3 above the 8. 3 times 15 is 45. 48 minus 45 is 3. So then I bring down the 5. So 15, 35 divided by 15. So 2. 2 times 15 is 30. Fifth, with 5 left over. 15 can't go into 5. So we have 32. Remainder. 5. So 3. Now you estimate and solve and then multiply using U.S. traditional multiplication. Show your work on the back of this page. First estimate, so you might have 700... 50 times 5 equals, then the answer.